All right, guys, this is update number 31 on the 1937 rat rod. All right, so this morning what I'm working on is putting tail lights on, okay? Now these lights came off my 64. They were on it when I bought it. Um, didn't like the way they looked on it, so I took them off. All right, but um, I think I've got an idea of how I'm gonna put them on this. And I don't want them just sitting on the back. I don't like that, so. What I found is some um, three and a half inch exhaust tubing and they fit nicely inside of it, okay? So what we're gonna do is cut this to the correct shape and weld it behind here, okay? So it'll be on the inside right along here and then we'll cut the actual body and let a portion of the tail light protrude out of it. Kind of like Frenching in but, or tunneling but I'm gonna put a spin on it and do it a little different. All right, so that's what we're working on today. I'm gonna take and uh, start measuring and contouring this to match that slope there. We got a compound curve, so I've gotta work on it to get it right. So, all right guys, well, I'm gonna start measuring and cutting this. So now I've got the angle cut. It's pretty close. A little grinding would be perfect, but. So we're gonna line it up so we look where it look like it's straight, okay? So we gotta play with it to get that angle. All right, so that's our opening. Now I'm gonna do something different with the opening. Never done it before, but I'm gonna try to make it look like it's is floating out and peeling back. So that way you see the, the tip of that tail light coming through and everything's peeled back. Um, the good thing is if it doesn't work, I just cut it off, it's a normal French end, all right? this all cut out I've cut this down to the length that I want the right amount of tail light to hang out all right so now I'm gonna work on putting this on the back side and tacking it in to hold it in place now the whole trick to putting in this bucket is to make sure it's straight or else your tail light will look like it's pointing up or down whatever so I'll most likely tack it and then kind of pivot it where I want and then tack it in the rest of the way. I'm going to have some gaps. I'll fill those in later, but right now we're just trying to get that thing positioned in there. All right guys, so look, I made this quick little plate for the back. You can see it's just a circle with the wings on it, okay? What I'll do is I'll fold the wings 90 degrees on both sides. Okay? Now, what this will do is now I can slide this inside on the outside of the tube and it'll hold the light in it, okay? The reason I do this is in order to get these bezels on and off, I have to be able to get to the screws on the side, so I can't just put it in a sealed container. I have to have access to the screws to take the lenses off, change the bulbs. So what I'll do is I'll take this, I'll go ahead and put the bulb in, I'll line it up my angle in there where I like it, and then I'll weld here and here, leaving about a half inch gap to be able to get to these screws. And then I can actually change the bezel. So that's the plan.
guys, that's the end of this update. So as you can see, it only takes a couple hours to do one. Um, you can do it lots of different ways. If you don't like the whole habit, the spanning out, you know, bursting through, you can cut it clean, put the tunnel in, weld it, grind it, slide the headlight down in, just do a normal tunneled or fringed in tail light, whichever way you know it. And um, it looks real clean. Now I'm going for, you know, off the wall shit on this car, so that's why I did it my way. Um, but anyway, guys, so as you can see, nice trick gives it an extra touch so anyway if you guys like this video do me a favor and subscribe and if you want to see the other stuff i worked on there's a link there all right guys you have a great day i'll talk to you later